Hi there, in this video tutorial I'm going to walk you through the steps to create a simple touch playlist. Begin by downloading the resource files from the link shown here. Once you've downloaded the resource file and logged in, you can begin creating your touch playlist by hovering over touch on the top menu, then clicking on touch. Then click new. Give your touch playlist a name, um, I'm going to call mine Iron, uh, and also pick a resolution. So if you're publishing to a landscape screen, then your resolution should be horizontal. If you're publishing to a portrait screen, then it should be vertical. Uh, for this example, I'm going to create a horizontal one. So pick that and then click OK. So I'm just going to adjust the zoom here, just so you can see the whole interface. Um, the first thing that I want to do is set a timeout period. Um, to do this, I'm going to click on the uh, touch playlist name at the top here. And then I can set the timeout period here. Uh, the default is 10 minutes. Um, the timeout period basically dictates that you know if the screen isn't touched or interacted with um, for a particular period, then something happens. The two actions you can choose from are uh, revert back to the home page of the touch playlist, or to enter screensaver, which basically means uh, a non-touch playlist. So you can also publish a non-touch playlist to the same screen, and after 10 minutes, if it's not touched, it'll automatically revert to that non-touch playlist. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rename my home page to home. To do that, you just right click and then click rename. I'm also going to create uh, some other pages to start putting together the structure of my uh, touch playlist. So to do this, again, right click on the directory, hover over new area, then click on page. And then again to rename, right click and click rename. I'm going to call this one website. I'm going to do the same thing again, new page, and I'm going to call this one gallery one. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my home page and then I'm going to set a background image. So to do this, right click on this black area here and then click content, then click image. Now if you haven't already uploaded the uh, media files from the resource pack, you can do so here by clicking upload, then add file, then choose your files and then click upload. Once you've done that, then you select home BG as your home background image, then click OK. And then click this little cross and then you'll see that that has now populated uh, the background of the home page. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, put button zones over these areas here, the visit website and open gallery areas. So to do this, you see there the little icon for the button in the tool section on the top left hand corner, click on that and then move and resize your button zone over that area. Uh, I'm also going to set the action. So the action, I'm, I want it to jump to a page. So I'm gonna select that and then the target will be the website. So this is the button going over the website button area and I'm going to select the website for it to point to, then click OK. Now do the same thing for the gallery, but obviously point that one to the gallery page. So click button, move and resize your button zone, then click target, then click gallery and OK. So now those two buttons are linked to the gallery and website pages. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a video zone. So to do this, the little video icon on the left hand side there, click on that. And then again, in the same way you did your button zones, size and position your video zone accordingly. Like that. And then right click on this and then click content. Now if I wanted a video to automatically play uh, within this zone, I can, I can do so by adding a video. I'm going to actually add a play button, so I'm just going to add a placeholder image for now. So I'm going to click on image and then add this image called placeholder and then click OK. And then when I close this, you'll see that that's already populated that video zone. The next thing I'm going to do is create another button, but this time I'm going to add an image inside the button zone itself. 
So to do this, I click on the button image field on the right hand side here. And I'm going to select the play button image and then click OK. And then you'll see that that image has now populated the button zone. And then I'm just going to resize this zone here just to keep it in proportion. And then position it just under the video. Um, what I want to do here is change the action from jump to a page to play in media zone. And then I'm going to change the target to the only video zone on the page by ticking the checkbox, then click OK. And then I'm going to select the media by clicking play media field, then the video, then select your video and click OK. Again, if you haven't uploaded your video, you can do so at this point by clicking upload, then add file, choosing your video, then click upload. Next, I'm going to put a button zone, another play button, over the actual video itself. Um, this is more just for user behavior, really. A lot of people will try to make the video play by, by literally just playing, pressing play on the video. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to put a transparent button zone this time over the video zone. Then I'm going to change the action to play in media zone. Again, change the target to the video zone. And then in the play media field, do exactly the same, click video, select the video, and click OK. Finally, I'm going to add the time and date. So here you can see the date tool, so I'm going to click on that. I can then resize it. I can change the color if I like. Um, you can do all sorts of things there. You can even change the style if you want. Um, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the time. And then finally, I'm going to add a weather widget just there. And that's the home page complete. Now we're going to work on the website page. Begin by selecting it from the tree in the top right hand corner. And then right click on this black area and click content. And again, to set the background image in exactly the same way, click image and then select web BG from the resource pack and then click OK. And then click the cross and then you can see obviously it's populated that page with that background image. Um, you can see that as part of the background image, there's a home button. So we're going to put a transparent button zone over that home zone, home area. And then the action should be jumped to the page and the target is going to be home. And then click OK. Um, next, we're going to set the website zone. So from the tools here in the bottom right hand corner of the tools, you'll see web. So click on that exactly the same just size and position that accordingly and then to populate that web zone with a website I'm going to right click and then go to content again and this time click web page and then I'm going to copy my URL and paste it into there and then I'm going to just set a duration of two hours. Click OK and that's it. So that's all you have to do on the website page. Finally we're going to work on the gallery pages. So begin again by selecting it from the tree here in the top right and again selecting a background image in the same way as before. This time select gallery BG image and then click OK. And you'll see, as well as having the home button on the background image, you'll see two navigational buttons. We're going to put button zones over these again. For now, the only one I'm going to link is the home button. And again, set the target for home, click OK. And I'm also going to put zones 
over the navigational arrows as well but at the moment I'm not going to link those that should become clear why in a moment so once I've got this I'm then going to select an image zone from the tools just here so click that and then again size and position that in exactly the same way Now you'll notice here on the right hand side that there's a properties field. Um, I'm going to, so that this is an exact square, I'm going to set the width to the same as the height, which is uh, 1080 pixels. So I'm just going to change that. Okay. Now we've got a perfect square. Once we've got to this stage, I'm then going to duplicate the gallery one page for the other two gallery pages. So to do this, I'm going to right click and then select copy to and then tick the checkbox for directory and then click OK and that essentially just duplicates exactly the same page again so I'm going to name this page gallery 2 and then I'm going to do the same again so copy to and then directory again, then click OK. And I'm going to rename this page Gallery 3. OK, so once I've got to this stage, I'm going to go back to Gallery 1. And now I'm going to link all the navigational arrows on each gallery page and also add the main image. So on the first gallery page, the back button, I'm going to have the target as the home page. And click OK and then the forward or next button I'm going to have the target as the second gallery page then click OK and again to add content to this image zone right click go to content and then image and then select your image then click OK so that's the first gallery page completely done and then repeat the process essentially. So I'm going to go to the second gallery page. I'm going to set the target for the previous button as gallery one, then click OK. The target for the next button as gallery three, then click OK. And again, populate the image zone in the same way with another image. and then repeat the process again on the third gallery page this time linking the previous button to the gallery 2 page and then the next button to the home page just to complete the loop and then I'm going to populate the image zone with my final image okay and that's the gallery pages complete. Once you've finished, click save. You can also preview your touch playlist by clicking preview. This way you can test uh, that all the buttons have been linked correctly. Just as a quick reference. Uh, finally, um, to publish your playlist, click publish in the top right hand corner and then tick the checkbox the screen you want to publish to and click OK.